Hello friends, Coach Bob with you today, and today we are going to be talking about what to do when you're traveling and there's that inclement weather. You know, I, I will say one of the things that bothers me about traveling in the rain, and I think I showed you Lake Bob the other day, that's what I call it, that's my walkway. <laughs> oh. But one of the things that bothers me about traveling when it's raining is not so much riding in the rain, I expect to have to ride in the rain, that's just that's part of it, you know. Um, we do pretty much pack our own sunshine, we'll be doing a video on that here soon. But one of the things that I don't like, I don't like leaving the spider exposed at night. All of these things here, I just don't like the idea of rain pounding on them. So I decided this week that what I was going to do in order to resolve that issue is to buy a small cover for it. Now I don't want a big cover, I don't want something that's going to cover the whole thing. Uh, I don't feel like that's really necessary. The body panels don't bother me so much. It's just the electronic stuff, uh, that sort of thing. There's also this open spot right here in the seat where Coach Vic's seat goes through. I don't want water getting in there. You've got these little electrical things here. I know they're sealed up. Um, a USB port, it does pop open and it's water resistant. But all of these things that just face up, I just, I don't like the idea of, and not only does the rain affect those things, but those things get hot and they dry rot and they start to discolor and I don't like that either. So today we're gonna do a little unboxing of a piece made by a company called UltraGuard. I don't know anything about them. I did very little research. I just threw caution to the wind because I knew we had this trip coming up going to Trike Fest and we needed something quick. So I found what I could find. It was only like 40 bucks. I figured the worst thing that'll happen is it'll be terrible I'll throw it away here in about two weeks. Like I've never done that before. But without further ado, let's open this thing up. Now I'm not gonna even insinuate that I don't know anything about car covers because that would be very far from the truth. You know, I was a Jeep guy and I've had, you know, Coach Vic, her first vehicle was an old Scrambler. I've had a JK, a TJ, and a YJ, uh, redone suspensions and redone all kinds of things on those things. A lot of work, we'll just say that. There, there are two kinds of Jeeps, those that leak and there's only one kind of Jeep. <laughs> they all leak. $50,000 Rubicon, pouring down rain, next morning you get up there, there's an inch of water in your floorboard. So I do know a little bit about covers. I know about the materials they're made out of. I kind of know, and I think that when I feel it, I'll be able to determine whether I'm gonna like it or not. Only time will truly tell, but the idea of having some protection for the spider is a really cool thing. So let's see what they said. Now, I don't wanna to cut too deep in this one because uh, I, there is actually something in here <laughs> on this one that I can cut and I know it. So I'm gonna lift it here. I'm just gonna cut a little notch on that side. Lift it here, put a little notch on this side, and then let's tear it with our hand. Here we go. Do you love doing this? I love doing that. So, Ultra Guard Can Am Spider Half Cover. It says for Can Am RT Series. Supposed to fit mine. I guess we'll find out. Supposed to have a couple of slots in it. Go over the antenna so you don't have to rip your antenna up. Let's see what this thing looks like. Big bike parts. That's their little warranty, I guess. Hop and old, same company that makes my seat. Looks pretty nice. All right, so it looks like it comes in a nice little cinch sack, which is great for uh, carrying it around. That way it can mildew and stink up the whole trailer. <laughs> Just kidding. Need to put my knife away. Uh, that's a bad combination, isn't it? So here's the cover. Here's what it looks like. It's got that uh, extra layer. That should be a little more water resistant. The rest of it looks meh, it's all right. It'd be nice if it had that liner all the way through. So let's walk out there and put it on the old spider and see what it looks like. And today, today is the big day, the Sling Mod giveaway. Woohoo! Sling you, Mod giveaway. Sling Mod giveaway. So here's what we're giving away. The first spin of the wheel is going to be for $100 Sling Mod card. $100. $100 Sling Mod. A lot of things to buy. I went on their site last night. A lot of things to buy. A lot of things. Woo! All right. Second spin of the wheel is going to be for this beautiful sling mod cap. And we will either get these things either in the mail uh, sometime late tomorrow or sometimes Thursday. 
Thursday at the latest for sure. We'll be in the mail on Thursday. The only thing that will hold us up is is, is inclement weather, which you know it right now be we're dealing with then. it. So, it should be over then. But no big thing. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna do this because I want you to know what we've done and how we've done it. We've doubled and triple checked every name. To make sure no one Everyone's is left out. Everyone's been um, already entered. That's right. What you're looking at is the CB3 workstation here. And this right here is the channel. You can see that I've gone down every name. I've hearted and thumbs up every single name. What that tells me is that everyone on there is entered. Now, I it is, if we were to look at the clock, let's bring it up closer. It is a little afternoon. It's 1221. So well past our due date as far as our due time. I'm going to refresh it. I've refreshed it. Oh, it time. is, when, it rains, when you look at the clock, it is da, 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 1222 on Tuesday. So we said that we were going to close up at noon. You can see that every comment has a thumbs up and a red heart by it. We're going to go down all the way down and they are all done. Coach Vic double checked, triple checked. We have gone down several times to make sure that nothing was missed. All the way down to the very, very end. Very nice. So there they all are. Okay. Now, then what I did, I took every name on there as I put that little red heart on there. I typed them on this document. So you can see I manually entered every single name. Now, I come over here. Take this, Command A. That is select everyone. Command C. I have just copied every name on that list. Now we are going to go over here. To the wonderful wheel of names, look who's sponsoring them, Shady Rays. I guess they've got that feeling that you're gonna eventually get some free sunglasses. So now I paste it into here. Look There's at the wheel. every the name. Names. Now I'm gonna take that ad, this ad out of here. All right, so here's the wheel. I'm gonna make it a little larger. I think I can do that. Boom, 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 there we go. All right, here's all the names entered. All right, they're all there. Coach Vic. Let me move this chair. See, this is one of the things that we deal with. Everything's in the way. Coach Vic, how are you gonna get over there? I'm gonna move this chair. I'll move it. But you're gonna move I'll it. I'll move it. There's a, that's a butt buffer. <laughs> anyway. There's chairs everywhere. Okay. So the first one is going to be for the Sling Mod card. So when oh. she spins the wheel, the name that comes up there is going to be for that Sling Mod, sling for that sling card. mod card. All right, put my hand on the map. We've got two cameras going there, Coach Vic. Hopefully they're legible. Okay. Here we go, you can just there's the arrow right there. I'm gonna click. When you click, you just click it one time. So I got it. Here we go. Da -da 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 Boom. All right, here we go. This is for the gift card. And the winner is. Oh. Ray, Ray Johnson. Johnson. Woo! Ray Johnson, you're the big winner of the $100 gift card. If you would send a message to bob3coach at gmail.com, I'll be sure and get that out to you. So now what we're going to do, is she's just going to click remove. Now Ray's name has been taken out of there and we are going to be going for the... Sling Mods cap. All right, so roll number Here two. Here we go. And the winner is... Victor, Victor Estrada. Estrada. Woohoo! Right, Victor Estrada, you got you a ball cap there, buddy. Our big winners today are Ray Johnson and Victor Estrada. Woohoo! Yeah, all right, all right. So uh, make sure you get me something sent, and uh, we'll figure out a way to verify all that stuff, and we'll get it sent out to you as soon as possible. So congratulations. Make sure uh, you watch uh, next week as we will be doing another giveaway. Uh, giving away the same thing. Same thing. Another $100 card. card and another ball card. And that'll be next week sometime. That's right. We'll announce it. Next week. Yeah. So keep watching, subscribing, and keep liking. Now I did no research. Like I said, I assume the uh, Ultra Guard sign probably goes on the front. Will it go up? I got the uh, windshield all the way up. Let's see how it does with that.
I will say it looks pretty impressive. Um, I haven't strapped it down yet. But it has these nice uh, Velcro openings. I'm going to come over here to this side. So basically when you look at it, it's got these Velcro pieces. And you just take this. And you just take this and just pull it. Right? And it reveals that little slot right there. And this uh, extra piece gives it a little bit of extra support, which is nice. Uh, old regard looks pretty nice. You know, the size cut of it, I will say, is, a, is pretty much spot on. Hook it right there. I went right up under the nose there. There we go. I had that over my cup holder there. It's got the little hook with a little protection piece on there. So you got four little hooks, two in the back, right there on each side. Those two there, go into the side. The hook's right up under the nose there. And you can center it up a little better than I did if you wanted to. Uh, take that, yeah, that seam right there. See, there's a seam that I did not see. So if I pull that over a little bit, that seam will be in the center. There we go. I think that is fine looking cover. I think that is gonna meet my needs perfectly. Now, is that all the protection I'll use? Probably not. What I often do is I'll take a rag of some kind and I will put over certain things and then I'll put the cover over the top of that. That way, if any water drips down in there, the rag absorbs all that stuff. I'll probably do that over my dash, that sort of thing. Little things like that. Um, but that is definitely going to provide protection, big time protection from the sun and the rain. That's nice. Now, is this right here? See how it's got that little trough right there? Will that hold water? I guess we'll find out. Um, hopefully it won't. Hopefully if the water kind of settles down that it will kind of run off the side and it doesn't create that trough effect in there. I'd say that that... Uh -huh, that's going to be nice. Protect it when we're out there in the bad weather, huh? Wow. Looks pretty nice, huh? Look at that. I think that's going to be perfect for what we need. See, I told you we needed a cover, see? Coach Bob listened to Coach Vic. Look at there. Not really. It was his idea. Wow, very nice. Look at the nice cover. Good thinking, Coach Bob. I think that's going to protect our gear quite a bit. It's going to protect the Can-Am. I well, if we can stay that dry now while we're riding. I think, that, I think that's going to do the job, man. Yeah, it is. So in the afternoon or in the morning, you know, when it's wet, you've got this bag. Um, Will I roll it up and put it in the bag first off every morning? Uh, it's possible that it will, but the big thing you have to do with any cover is you try not to put it away wet so it doesn't mildew and stink. And the fact that it's black, it won't show the mildew and a lot of times you won't know until it's all stinky and bad. So based on the warranty, it shows that it has a prorated uh, return uh, at three and five years based on the type of product that it is. Of course, it also says that, you know, it doesn't protect against chemicals and tears and this and that and blah, 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 blah. So basically, if the sun dry rots it, you know, you'll probably get another one back, maybe. But I think really extended exposure to the sun, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get a warranty out of that. I don't believe you might. So there you have it, the uh, Ultra Guard Can-Am Spider Half Cover. 40 bucks delivered to your doorstep. I ordered it on Sunday and the making of this video today is Tuesday. So really, literally two days later, I have it. Um, we're grateful because like I said, we're gonna be riding in the rain and the spider's gonna be exposed over there in Daytona. So we're glad to have this. So there you have it. So if you would do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Hopefully you found this little ultra guard review real quick, just a quick unboxing, a little bit helpful. Maybe it's something that you've been thinking about buying or a little reticent about buying. You can look at it now, a real person, and see what it is, what it does, and we will keep an eye on it as we travel. We will let you know how it works. Cat alert. So remember, until next time, go out, buy the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, take care of yourself, and remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Now, go seize the day. We'll see you soon.